Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and I just won a beautiful scanner. This is the Creality Raptor Pro Scanner and I won it in a Facebook contest and uh, well that contest it was all about uh, making car modifications with scanners and for that I used a very simple uh, Creality Scan Ferret Scanner but now I have such a powerhouse well, I needed to do something with it uh, yeah, to learn how this scanner works. And uh, therefore, at the same time as this scanner came out, uh, also the new software came out in a beta environment. So uh, the Creality Scan 4.0.0 software came out. And well, I had to go into the deep. Uh, to find out everything about both the scanner and the new software. But to do that, I had to give myself a goal, which I had to, yeah, to, to uh, keep up to. So the goal was to make this jigsaw a little bit better. Uh, I have a guide rail, which is for another saw that I have, a circular saw. And... Um, yeah, I want to use that same track uh, for this jigsaw and therefore I wanted to create something, well, something like this. This is the end product that I'm going to show you how I made it. Um, this is a simple adapter that can line up to the track that I have and well, you can put your jigsaw in it and uh, it holds by this lever there. So you can easily detach it and attach it like this. It's that simple. And uh, the only way to get that correct measurements to do so is working with a thing like this, a caliper. Uh, then you will be working for hours uh, to find out how every dimension works. Or you could just use this scanner. <laughs> That's what I did. So my goal for today is to make this adapter for this jigsaw on a track. So one of the first things that I did is I installed Creality Scan uh, 4, which is beta software or beta. I, I don't know how to say that. And in this software, the first thing I did is I scanned the markers. So these are all the markers that I have on my turntable. And uh, well, I scanned these uh, so that the scanner knows or the software knows where all those markers are. And the thing is I'm going rapidly through everything you see here because I can't film and scan on the same time while the recording happens on my computer and it doesn't happen when this software is open. Uh, so I have to do it this way. Um, then I made the first real scan and the first real scan, well, that was this one. I'm going, going to put the, the markers off. And uh, this is just a part of the feet or, or foot of my jigsaw, just a part. Because after that, I made a second point cloud, which captured the upside, but also still a part of it. Because, well, yeah, I wanted to record the whole thing, but I had to clamp it in. And therefore the whole back, which is here, uh, is not scanned. So that's what I did in the third scan. And then when I had that, well, I made a fourth scan just to be sure. So now I've got all the data that I want to have uh, to have the full scan. Then after I made the scan, I opened MeshLab. And MeshLab, that's great software where you can simplify uh, point clouds and data. And well, you, you can simplify your scan so that from a whole lot of vertices, you can go to, well, less vertices because that's what you need to open it in Fusion. So uh, I took this scan data, this is the OBJ file that is uh, saved by Creality Scan, 
and I applied some filters here. So I did some uh, uh, remeshing, simplification and reconstruction. Those are the filters that you can use for it. And I did some uh, surface, uh, this one, reconstruction screen poison. And also this one, this is uh, simplification quadric edge collapse decimation. And uh, these are the filters that I use to make that mesh a whole lot simpler, uh, less complex. And uh, that way I can open it in Fusion. And then in Fusion, uh, I was able to open this mesh, uh, which is the simplified version. So at first it, the, the data is not on the origin. So we have to bring it to the origin and you do that with the move copy command. So every time I step through this timeline, you see that I use the move copy command and I just use it to align uh, everything on that uh, yeah, on that origin that you see here. So here it's not completely aligned, but I'm going through it and after I'm done, which takes a few steps, then everything here is aligned. So no matter how I look at it, everything here is aligned. And this is a very important step if you are working with scan data that you have to align everything really really important because without a proper alignment well you can't work with it in fusion so that's what i did first then what i did over here is i made a sketch and uh, that sketch is made with mesh section that's what you get so uh when you have your 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 scan data uh you can leave a sketch out of it and that sketch you can make it a a, a normal sketch uh, so at first it's only a mesh section sketch and then you make it into a normal sketch and now you can do things with it like for example uh, extrude things around it or things itself so i made a box that fits exactly around this foot and therefore yeah, I know it's going to fit exactly with the exact measurement because I can see them here on the screen then uh, well let's walk through it I made some uh, corners in it so uh, that when I turn this off uh, you can see that uh, there is a rich behind it here, uh, where I can put in the, the sole of my uh, jigsaw and I'll keep on going further and further until in the end I also make this slide track which I already had for another project but now I uh, mounted it to the side of the, the thing that I made. And there we have the whole body, uh, which, by the way, fits exactly. And I'll take the origin out so you can see it better. Uh, which is a perfect fit of that foot. This part was designed to be printed standing upright. And the reason I did that is because then I needed uh, yeah, the less uh, amount of uh, support structures to to help it support that's also why I have this pointy shape over here because then I don't need support over there another thing I did is uh, I hope the camera picks it up this lip over here which can move so this on the back side you can see is just a small opening which is just one layer height, so uh, 0 0.28 millimeters height, because I'm printing this in 0 0.28 millimeters uh, per layer, and therefore this can wiggle, which is perfect for holding the jigsaw, because when I put in the jigsaw, as you can see over here, this flips over the edge, and mounts it so yeah, it can't come loose, it, it won't fall off now. 
and it's very easy to take it off. So that's how I made it. Now for some people this is not strong enough and that's the reason why I left this openings over here. Because then you will be able to slide in this over here which goes through and through. Just takes a little bit of convincing what to do and then um, turn this screw in and now you can be very very sure that this part won't come off whatever you do it won't come off and now it's as sturdy as can be so that's how i designed it and i'm very grateful to have uh, this Creality Raptor Pro scanner now because this is a much better scanner than the scan ferret that I had and uh, yeah these are the things I do I make these kind of parts uh, whether it's for tools or for cars or for artwork I do a lot of things for artwork as well uh, yeah that's what I do so I, I hope you liked it and uh, Creality, thanks for letting me win uh, in this contest. And, uh, well, you'll be seeing more of me. My English is not that good, so I hope you will have no problems with understanding me. But, uh, hey, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.